like, where'd you go? Guys, I came in shit. again with another desktop. Um, this time we're doing a little bit of a different theme. Uh, we're doing something that's got no taskbar at all. It's just got a Nexus dock. I've never used Nexus dock before, so I'm interested to see how well it works. Um, it's gonna be kind of a nature theme with white accents, and I'm really excited because I've got some cool ideas for it, and yeah, let's check it out. All right, so we're starting with a plain blank desktop. First thing we'll wanna do is to open your browser and go to the link in the description. Click download and open the .rar file. All right, so we're starting with a plain blank desktop. Go ahead and extract the contents to the desktop. First, we'll install Rain Meter if you don't already have it. Do standard installation. Once that's done, we're going to run the two Rain Meter skin files on the desktop. The Rain Meter time and visualizer should now be placed properly on the desktop. Next, save the background somewhere safe. I saved it in my photos. Right click the image and set it as your desktop. Next, open Rain Meter and disable all the default Rain Meter skins. Open the Nexus Dock Installer. Once Nexus Dock is installed, open the Preferences and navigate to Advanced. Click Restore and select the .wbk file. The dock should now be at the bottom of your desktop with my custom settings. <clears throat> Next, we'll move the icon pack to the pictures folder for later. We really need to change these icons. What we'll want to do is right click on one of the question marks and select dock entry properties. At the bottom, click change icon and navigate to your photos where we saved the icon pack. Select the icon that corresponds with the program on the dock. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'll quickly change all of these in the same way. The next step is to open Nexus Dock from the system tray and navigate to General. Select Hide Windows Taskbar. Click Apply. I exited, but you don't have to. If you do exit, reopen the program from the Start menu. Now you can delete what files you have lingering on your desktop. Now visually, the desktop's perfect. You do have a recycling bin, but one of my other videos, I'll actually link it here. You can see just how you can remove your recycle bin too. So now visually it's perfect, but some programs probably won't launch unless you have the same name as me. So we need to adjust the file path in the settings.
So in the same place that you changed the icons. So first find out which icons need to be changed. Hit the Windows key and search for that program. Here we're going to do Spotify. Open File Location. You'll find a shortcut. Again, open File Location of the shortcut. Go to the Properties of the .exe file and copy the location path. Return to your broken icon properties and paste that file path. You'll need to add slash then the program name .exe to the file path. Click OK and your program should now work. Let's try Spotify. As you can see, the visualizer for audio works really well. So there it is, desktop's all done. First time using Nexus Dock when designing a desktop and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it's really, really clean. I've got it refined a little bit. Um, the next one I'll probably go back to using the normal taskbar just because I, I just find it a little more functional. But as far as aesthetics, oh, this one looks so good. I've been using it for a few days and I just, I'm, I'm over the moon. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button if you want to see more. Like the video if you did like it, if you found it useful. If you've got any questions, just hit me up in the comments and I'll be sure to get you, hit you back. I'm like, where'd you go? Shit out of nowhere, yeah, I didn't mean to scare you, bro Used to look around and like, where